What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with another Dominican Republic update. As you know, always bringing you the news as I get it. So something that just happened last night. Um, give you guys the new updates on the new curfew and the situation going on in the country. But first, check that comment section, the pinned comments. I'll have the Super Bowl video. Make sure you're booking your VIP or booking for Super Bowl immediately. Still going down. And the um, Build Confidence video, which I promise you guys, down there in the pinned comments. And also, if you want to join and become a member, I'll have the link to become a member as well in the pinned comment section, the first comment in this video. So, as it stands right now, everything has changed based on last night. Let me tell you exactly what happened. Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here, a.k.a. Mr. Red Cup. So as of last night, an agreement was made amongst the presidency and his cabinet to turn the curfew over to 7 p.m. every day. Now, this mainly goes for Santiago, Santo Domingo, La Vega, and the Puerto Plata province, which includes the sewer. So as of, to, as of today, actually, it was, it was uh, set in stone last night, all provinces of Santiago, Santo Domingo, La Vega, and Puerto Plata are at 7 p.m. curfew every day. Now, with that comes 7 p.m. curfew, but you allow the travel until 9 p.m. if you're leaving whatever location and heading home or whatever the case may be. Now, also, what they decided is on the 24th and the 31st, it's still 7 p.m., but you're allowed to travel until 1 a.m. This gives people more time to visit family and so on. So with the 24th and the 31st having extended travel hours, still Tokyo Takeda or curfew at 7 p.m., you can travel until 1 a.m., basically, so you can see family and so forth. Now, if you guys do remember, Chef Kelvin will be chefing it up at Flip Flop on the 25th. Uh, I will put the video of what he did for Thanksgiving dinner, and you guys can check it out. So if you're in town, come check us out at Flip Flop on the 25th, Chef Kelvin chefing it up. On the 24th, we will be closing early. To let, let the staff go home and enjoy their, their uh, 24th with their family. Now, also, in the stipulations, as far as the curfew being at 7 p.m., what they have done now is saying that you can no longer sell alcohol after 6 p.m. So what this is, is if you plan on drinking, make sure you buy all your alcohol before 6 p.m. And then you can stay at certain locations until 7 p.m., I don't know how this goes for the after hour spots. I can't, I can't tell you that right now. We'll have to see how it goes. But right now, the stipulations are 6 p.m. no more alcohol, 7 p.m. curfew. And you have until 9 p.m. to travel on regular days. And on 24th and the 31st, you can travel to 1 a.m. Basically, so you have time to get home. If things close at 7, you can stay until 7. And they're giving, giving you until 9 o'clock to get home. Okay, so that's what it is now. That's the update. Basically, the, the, the uh, curfew has been changed till 7 p.m. Uh, through the main provinces of Santo Domingo, Santiago, and Puerto Plata, as well as La Vega, 7 p.m. every single day. But with the 7 p.m., as I said before, uh, if you're at a location till 7 p.m., you still have up until 9 p.m. to travel to get home or to wherever you're staying at. Okay, so that's the updates for now. Stay tuned. As I said, check the pinned comment for the Super Bowl video, the Build Confidence video, and the membership link if you want to become a member to join the channel. Appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. There's more coming. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Gracias, mama.